Hello everyone, it's Lorraine from Chatelaine Makes. I'm back again. I have another Timu uh, haul, plus I have a couple of projects that I did that I want to show you. Okay, so I'll move this out of the way. Okay. This needs to slide up. Okay, I have my order on my phone so I know what I paid for it okay so I did also get a pair of shorts a black pair of shorts they were eleven nineteen. Um, the uh, picture when you sh go to it is orange they have orange red dark gray and black I got the black I, sh I am wearing them they are comfortable come with two pockets oh I got too much of a glare not too much anyways it's description is solid wide leg shorts casual elastic waist summer shorts with pockets women's clothing okay so they are comfortable like I said, I have them on, so I can't really, I mean, I could move the camera, but I'm using my laptop, so it'd be awkward. Anyways, that's what that is. So, I got another pair of Christmas earrings. These are cute. They are snowmen. Now, these are wooden or hard plastic has a snowman on it so cute and it is uh, blue and green and black and they were a dollar seventy nine and they've got the fish hook hard to see but they got the fish hook uh, fish hook for the earring okay I got in this roll is two piece reusable non stick oven liners. These were, they have three sizes uh, 15 by 15.8 by 13 inches, 15.8 by 19.7 inches, and 15.8 by 23.6 inches. And the small size is 548. I got the largest size was, and I paid 948. So this this is to line the bottom of my one. I the reason why I got two was because I, it's a two pack. Anyways, I have a double oven. One door, but a double double oven, which I love. So that's what I got this for. And I think I also have another one um, that's smaller. I'm going to see if that one will fit in my warming drawer on the bottom. Okay, anybody that's looking for a new oven, a new range, they're great. We use the warming drawer quite often. And I love the fact that I have the double oven for when I'm doing my Christmas baking or holiday baking or even just baking cookies because I put one tray on the bottom and one tray on the top you can set two different degree temperatures it's great okay I also got this little spatula for the food can Okay, and I paid $1.98 for that I got a strainer for the can. This is silicone. Uh, this was two seventeen. Okay. I got this thing for the laundry. Eliminates um, hair and lint in the washer so you just stick it in the washing machine 
with your uh, as it washes and use the crinkling so it has it has a mesh thing here and that's where it collects in there so you don't have so you don't have it all in your laundry you don't have it all stuck onto your clothes Oh, I see. And then it just, you just kind of do that to get the lint and stuff off. Okay, great in case for if you forget and have Kleenex in your pockets, because we all know what that's like, picking that off. No fun, people. Okay, and then I got... I got this here for when I make tarts and my own pastry. So it has a small end and a bigger end. Okay, this is wood. This is was four twenty nine, and the description says one piece kitchen gadgets, wood egg tart pusher, double sided tart tam tamper pastry pusher it keeps going uh, of course I can't see the rest of the oh there we go wood uh, pastry pusher wooden egg tart mold for egg tart mold baking cake kits and tools it's $3.99 so to go into there and see about getting a price adjustment on that because it's cheaper than what I ordered okay oh I did get a I did get a price adjustment on that sorry I see it's below now okay that's that then I got plus I got a bag of small eyes these are just the plain simple tiny eyes 500 pieces mini black plastic safety eyes. Uh, okay, 249 and that's what I paid. Okay. And I got another pack of because I forgot I had already ordered these elastic pushers. Uh, where are we? The needle two-piece needle elastic threader self-locking so so you put your elastic in there and then there's a piece there you just push it to close it stick that in the pocket when you're sewing and or even if you have like a hoodie with the string and the string come out can put it on there and then thread it through and then once you're done you just take it out and you're good to go so there are two uh, 179 okay that's that okay I also got some of these are I used a gorgeous marine life starfish charm pendant for bracelet or jewelry making. Got these for stitch markers. They are so cute. Different colors, but they've got a, uh, got a piece of paper here. Whoops. Okay, I got a starfish. A conch shell. 
This is 3D, it's hard to see. See that there? Got that one. I got a shell. Uh, trying to add some more. Oops! Add some more light without getting the glare. Anyways, it's got the lines, you know, that you see on the seashells. And let me see if that's it. Yeah, I think it's just three but different colors. Okay, so I got those. $2.98. I have a arrow garden that uses water. So this here I got it was a seed pod kit. You get the oh, all right, come on. Sorry again, crinkling. Okay. You get the baskets, and in the baskets you put these here, they fit in. You have the caps. So it makes like a little greenhouse and it also comes with the labels so that you can write on what it is and that goes on top of the basket. I don't use the, those labels, I don't really need them, I know what I planted. So that was uh, $9.29. And that's what it is now. I paid $7.89 for it. I have lots of the caps. A few more of the these. It's not really soil, but these things. But I had no more baskets. And it was cheaper for me just to buy the packet, the kit, instead of ordering just the baskets. Okay, so I got that. Then I also got another thing to put my diamond paintings in. Comes with the labels, so you can put the labels on. And I like these ones. They have, it almost looks like a Tic Tac container. And that's, that's what I've been using. So eventually I'll have one for each color. Right now I think I have five of those containers. Okay, so now I also got the small 22 needle Centro knitting machine. Now this right now on the app is forty three forty nine, but I paid thirty six seventy nine. Now I'll do a review and tell you how I like this. I'm sure I will like it. <laughs> I've been wanting one for quite a while, so it's a lot cheaper at Timu. I will also put my affiliate link in the des description box 
um, which means that if you use my link and you make a purchase um, it doesn't cost you anything extra but I got a little bit of a commission on it okay so now my projects that I finished picked up this tote bag at Michael's it's just plain then I managed to pick up a pack of heat transfer um, paper for the printer so what I did was I printed I did my picture printed it up on that paper and it's got the paper has two two sheets to it okay so you print on the black on the blank side when, then once you get your your once it's printed your whatever you want to transfer you wait till it dries then peel it off you put it print side up on your project then you iron it or if there's a different way if you have a heat press I'll have a heat press I just have an iron and my poor iron I'm sure it was doing a, you know shooting arrows wondering if you know what throws over because We've been in here since 2008. I've used it twice since we've been in here. And I can't remember the last time I used it, but I know I used it twice. So, <laughs> it hardly ever gets used. Well, who likes to iron, right? So anyways, I'll be using it more often because on my tote bag, I have my logo. So it does say Chatelaine makes at the top. This is our fan picture of our family farm. And pictured in the doorway, which it's hard to see, is my great grandparents. So, I lived here when I was first born. I lived here. So, I, and I, we used to go visit because um, we moved away. And uh, my grandparents still had the farm. We used to go visit. I remember going to visit, and I remember sitting in the kitchen at the family table. A lot of nice memories. So this was my logo for here. I also put one on a pouch. Can't show you that. I mailed it out. Someone might know what they're getting in their in their mail. Okay, so I did that. Now. Because this is my family farm, I also did one. I had a, a tank top that I bought a while back. I think I don't even remember where I bought it. It was, oh, Walmart, because it's a George. Okay, so I bought this tank top. And it was in there. I had ideas of putting our, putting a logo on it. So I changed the writing on my picture so that it doesn't have this different picture. Now, my logo is based on this picture. What I did was I took this picture of the family farm and then I edited it and saved it. So I have one for my channel, for my business, for Shadowline Makes, and now I have one for the family. Now this is showing backwards, but it's it's right when you read it, but when you're looking at it in the picture, it's reversed. So, like I said, you put your print this way, facing up. You don't have to worry about um, reversing, flipping your any writing that you have to do, which is great because I was trying to figure out how am I going to do that. So, anyways, this is for, um, I'm going to use this one myself, but I plan on making some more for my family. So there we are. That's my two projects that I've done. And I can't even remember, did I show the picture of my of the baby sweater once it was done with the buttons on it? No, I didn't. Anyways, I added the buttons, blocked it, 
it's been nailed out because it has to go to BC. Um, my son-in-law is, they're leaving on the 1st of September to drive out to BC to visit with my granddaughters. So, and the new great-grandson. Grandson for him, great-grandson for me. So, I had to mail it out. So, uh, it turned out really nice. But I did show a picture, I did show it with already done and I just had to weave in the ends and I showed you where I put the stitch markers for the buttons. It That's a great hack. So in future I will be doing that as well. And that is all I have. It's warmed up again. Uh, there's a nice cool breeze though, which is nice. Uh, I think it's around 26. Yesterday it was a little cooler. We had rain overnight and some lightning. Not a whole lot of rain because it was a very light rain, but we did have the lightning and the thunder. I didn't hear the thunder, but um, I wear earplugs and it was late. So uh, I must have been asleep. But my husband told me today that there was quite the light show last night. So other than that, I don't have anything else. Um, Hope everyone is doing well and I hope to goodness that this video the audio is synced up with the video part because I'm sorry I looked at the the one I just put out and of course once again it's out of sync but it's funny because it goes and it's in sync then it's out of sync then it's in sync then it's out of sync I may just have to use a different um, editing program uh, so, anyone want that watched Antoinette's from two or from I um, still want to say two OGs uh, from Hooking and Stitching Island style, I did provide a coupon code for my Etsy shop. For some reason, Etsy is charging way too much for shipping. So anyone that wants to make a purchase from my shop, just message me or email me my information for the email is in the description box as always and all I all I'll do is uh, I calculate the shipping for you and once you want to make the purchase I deactivate what you want to purchase from the Etsy sh store so that no one else can purchase that and then um, you can either what Antoinette did was she just e-transferred me, which was great. So you can e-transfer me if you're in Canada. Um, if you're out of the, out of Canada, I guess um, you can just uh, send me the amount on my PayPal, which is connected to my Etsy, and we can work out that way. Also, to, like with Antoinette, you get to use coupon code 20% off. Um, originally, I told Antoinette it was till the end of the month. I had extended that until this, that Saturday, which I believe is September 2nd, my daughter's birthday. So, um, I'm pretty sure it's September 2nd. If it's different, I will put that in the description box below. So please read the description um, in case there's anything extra I need to put in there that I don't that I didn't say in the video. And it's easier for me just to add it to the video as opposed to now um, putting it on my community page, which. I'd like to know how to people put pictures on their community page with with comments. So anyways, that's a learning thing. So I um, hope every like I said, I hope everyone is having a good day. That today is Wednesday, middle of the week. Hump day as some people say. And uh, so have a have a good week. And until next time, this is Lorraine from Chatelaine Mix saying, don't forget to stop and smell the coffee and the flowers. So, bye for now.